Yo, I wanted to um, I wanted to address something to the people and um, people that know me, people that's familiar with me, people that know my habits, people that know my drive, my ambition, um, then people that know what type of person that I am deep down. So I'm gonna let you know something. I'm gonna get right to the point. Because when I come back or when I touch back, if I decide to touch back, there's going to be a lot of people I'm not even going to be looking at. You know, people that say, what's up, keep it moving. Because I've I seen certain things that bothered me um, while I was down here and people pretending like they care about my family and and like they gave, they gave a shit about what happened to me and stuff like that. Y'all just, y'all was happy that I... I fell. Even family members. A lot of family members, they happy that I fell. They just want something to talk about. They'll go to the salons. They'll go everywhere and talk. And use all these, uh, whatever, religious things about what happened. You know, typical Jamaican and Haitian and whoever else is around me, American. You know, at the end of the day, I've never been a fake person. Yeah. Sometimes I deceive, just like everybody else. I might lie about certain things, and like everybody else, lie to get by, lie on the come up, but I'm not a habitual person. Like, I'll deceive people, like, people ask me, yeah, oh, how old are you? Stuff like that, I'll tell them the wrong age, because I don't need you to know certain things about me like that. Unless you, you know me and you know what's going on, you would know. You don't need to know certain things about me unless I want to share through my books or through my blogging and stuff like that. You 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 know, people just want personal information so that they can use it for their own benefit. When I put out these personal things about me and my case and my stuff that happened to me, I did it because I felt like the people around me and the people who supported me need to know what happened to me. I didn't want to lie and, and, and make it seem like something's wrong with my family. Or something is wrong with this or something's wrong with that in the beginning it started off like that yeah i haven't seen my mother in 15 years and my mother you know any day she could be you know that's just anybody though i could go before her you know even if she's sicker than me or whatever the case may be because i went in, i went through a couple of problems with sicknesses and stuff like that down here and just a culture shock and just me not being around my kids and stuff like that but one thing i could honestly say i never faked the funk you know when i do things and i record things i do it in a real way if i'm having fun i'm having fun if i'm not i'm not down here i've been to like a handful of parties maybe six five parties so far and it's like people see you having fun and they make a big deal out of it like you're not supposed to have fun and then they want to talk about it and share that like all the positive things that i did you're not interested in that you're interested in the negative so I'm going to give you negative. You understand? And one thing about me, the difference between me and you is you're phony. You like to fake the funk. You don't want people to see you in a certain light. You see all my videos? I give you all of me. I show you when I'm partying. I show you when I'm talking about positivity. I show you when I'm a real father. I show you when I'm a real barber. I show you when I'm grinding, when I'm taking care of my business. It's positive and negative in all of us. I'm not going to sit there in front like I'm God Almighty. I got a little devil in me too. Just like you. It's just, I always told my, my soldiers with me, yo, um, you can exercise your demons, but don't let them get into shape. Because when they get into shape, they're going to want to work out every day. So don't let the demons overcome you. I don't let the demons overcome me. Once in a while, I'll indulge, I'll enjoy myself. When I'm at the parties, I dance. I dance with girls. So what? When you at a party, you don't dance with men? You don't dance with girls? When you at them soca events, you're not shaking your ass in front of a dude? Come on, people, stop it. You're not going to do that. And at the end of the day, and I'm at, and I'm doing my thing, I'm recording it, I'm showing it, that's what I'm doing. I'm not hiding like you. You're a fake. You want to hide and pretend that you're a certain type of person, like you have morals, or like you're high and mighty and in and, 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 and closed doors, you're a piece of shit like everybody else. Your relationship ain't that good. You post all these good things on Facebook, 
but behind the scenes you cheating like a moth I'm talking to you I'm talking to everybody if this don't apply to you then let it fly if it don't apply let it fly motherfucker cause at the end of the day everybody is hiding something it might not be big it might be big but don't try to point your fingers at people that's showing themselves and showing what's really going on I put everything on the table. I didn't have to tell people my situation, but I did because that's the type of guy I am. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a um, person. I'm open. I'm on social network. I record. I'm paparazzi barber. I'm lit James. I'm all those things in one, and I'm putting them on the table. If this offends you, then fuck you. Don't follow me. I, you don't need me. I don't need you. Life goes on. But I'm not going to pretend like you, and I'm not going to live my life like you. I'm not going to fake like I'm a religious, all and mighty, high down. And I don't do this and I don't do that. But behind closed doors, you know, I do it. But I want to keep an image, you know, like all these fake ass relationships out there. All y'all fake. Y'all not even fucking each other. Y'all just living together. I could care less about, I could care less about morals, honor, respect. I don't need it to be defined by anybody because I have my own definition. Proof is in the pudding. I can't, no man could say, yo, that nigga, oh, is a fucked up nigga. That nigga O was a bad father. It's just I was in a bad situation and certain decisions and certain policies jammed me up. But other than that, can nobody could say, yo, this dude is a bad person.